Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Today I'm gonna explain um, a, a bit more precisely how to use the light world tie set to make um, cliffs and to allow the player to jump off a cliff. Um, first, um, in, the do in the description of the video, I provide a new outside store with um, more stuff mm, that will help you to do cliffs. So you can take them, add them to your project. I mean both files, but it's a single map, of course. Um, remember, it's the special map that cannot be played, but um, where you can copy paste things to build other maps with all, uh, um, um, not all yet, but a lot of um, graphics tiles from outside tileset. So, um, you have in this map all sorts of cliffs. You, the first thing you can notice is that you have everything exists in three um, three instances. I you see you have cliffs that go on the grass soil, the green soil. The same cliffs but adapted for sand. Sand is just here. Um, there. Sand soil. I just pressed B to do um, bring to back. <coughs> And the third one is the dirt soil, the earth soil, it's here. Okay, and you also have a second sort of, second kind of sand here. Okay, so um, everything exists three times. You have usual cliffs that uh, go up, you have the same cliffs that go um, down, diagon diagonal cliffs, and also um, this kind of tiles and uh, doors, entrances of caves. I also added some houses, models of houses, so this will probably be helpful and a tree and also um, three sorts of bushes from A Link to the Past and four sorts of stones. Um, if they don't appear correctly it's because you don't have the latest version of Zel Zelda A Link to the Past resource pack. Okay, mm, and if you have problems with that um, please leave a comment and I will help you. So. Let's start. New map, chapter 6. And this chapter will be about um, cliffs and jumpers. How to make the hero jump off a cliff. Mm, cancel. I, will, I want to keep that open. Tile set, of course, light world, and the music will be overworld. Okay, um, we, we will do a bigger map like that. Let's go. This is the main cliff tile to make the bottom of the cliff for uh, grass soil. You see the, um, the shadow here is green. This is different from the one you would put on sand, which is this one, and different from the one you would put on dirt, this one. Okay? So you have to take care of this. 
if you want your your maps to be perfect. <laughs> okay. And of course this one is the same for all three kinds of soils of soil. And this is the top of the cliff. The hero can will be able to jump if when we make a jumper we'll see that um at the end of the episode. So you have already he here um something that that looks very much like the Zelda Link to the Past. You can also make the cliff a bit bigger if you um use this. Mm, a common mistake is to do that. Actually this style is not repeatable. It looks almost correct but it's not correct. The correct one is this one and then you alternate like that. And you you can make any height of cliff. Not this. Like this. Okay. This is a is a correct cliff. Actually, there is um, this style that is just equivalent to the the other equivalent to two lines like this. So you can do almost everything with only one tile. <coughs> okay, let's make um, a height of two like that. And then I want to make some something diagonal like this. So it's this one. Of course you can copy paste from here. Mm, let's move that. We don't need all of this for now. You can take that, copy, paste and resize with um, with R. Mm, this is the top of a cliff whoops, for earth, for um, I mean dirt soil, and this is the top of the cliff for grass soil. Okay, let's finish our Resizing. You can also make a border to make a cliff that cannot be jumped, like that. And the transition between border and grass is um, this style, this one exactly for this direction. And to make the nice corner here, you can take this one and put it on the back B, bring to back. Okay, um, it's quite tricky. Mm, outside graphics are not the easiest ones. The graphics of dungeons are, um, are easier to to make because ev everything is more simple, everything is straight. Even if we can also do diagonal walls. Um, <laughs> what I want to do is reduce this part to make something go this way. Um, to do that, uh, yes, I will need also this one. Maybe something like this. I will, uh, let's move everything to the right, actually. 
to have more space. Oh, you can show the grid, of course, and you should because it really helps. We spend a lot of time resizing, moving and resizing things. So it really helps to do a multi selection like this with shift or control and do resize or press the R key that does the same thing. And also various various full remember that you can move the uh, the view uh, not only by picking the scroll bars but just you just have to do a click with the middle mouse button and you can move like that. It's very handy. Okay, let's finish our diagonal. So we'll continue with grass here and then make a transition with um, dirt. Diagonal grass cliff is here. And this one to just finish. Oops. Sometimes you want to hide the grid to better see if everything looks correct. And another one like that. And then like that. Oh, this continues actually. Okay. And to make the transition between grass soil and uh, um, dirt soil, you can use that. So let's try to do something nice. something that does not look too much artificial. Okay. That's good. And let's do our diagonal wall now. So don't pick this one because it's green. That's not correct. The equivalent one for dirt soil is this one. There, it looks good. And then this one. And then let's finish our transition with grass, like that, for example. So, um, oh, I missed this one. Yes. And here, don't forget, like I did in the French version of this chapter, <laughs> don't forget to use the um, grass ones here. Okay, good. Mm, this one first. Okay, and to make mm, things good here, you should take that. <coughs> okay, almost done. Nice. Um, we can add now our um, this ladder here. That we we won't use that for now. Is to make 
um, s to handle several layers. For example, if you want to be on the low layer here and on the intermediate layer here, it may be useful. Um, for example, when you make a bow or the hook shot um, to to be higher, actually higher here than here. But that's not the topic for now. Let's take. Let's move this. Um, copy paste. Okay. Like that, and move this to the low layer. We keep everything in the low layer now. Okay, and then our map really looks empty. We can add things to decorate like that. And you you also have trees. And bigger trees like that. Actually we can use the one of the store. Copy paste. And you can add flowers, these kind of things grass tiles okay mm, let's test that and a destination maybe here um, don't forget to tell your game manager script to start the game on that map, chapter 6. But we will have a, a surprise, probably, I think. Yes, here is a surprise. <laughs> we are on the outside store map. The map that I said <laughs> was not supposed to be played ever. Actually, it's because in the previous chapters we saved on um, the map chapter 4 that doesn't that no longer exists so um, the engine uh, started on an arbitrary map instead the first one in alphabetical order I think mm, no outside should be after chapter 6 anyway um, if you have the same problem, you can simply delete your save game file. And try again. Okay, it works. And when you walk on the ladder, the hero moves um, more slowly. You also notice that the hero moves smoothly against um, diagonal walls. Okay, and now let's try to jump. Because all of these are normal tiles, there is no jumping information. Ju to make just the hero jump, you have to take this object, which is called a jumper, create jumper. And you can resize it to allow the player to jump at a, a precise, a specific location. And set the direction to down if you want the hero to jump downwards. So it's already down by default. Um, you also have to set the length of the jump. So if we start um, here, we want to end up here, and you can count, it should make um, 56 pixels. But if you don't want to count, you can just test first. Oh, did I save? No, I did not save. Oops. <coughs> 
and you see how much <laughs> you are wrong. 16 pixels here are missing, so 40 plus 16 is 56. Okay, and you make the same thing here and there, and you can also jump diagonally. Um, left down. Like that. But the diagonal jump is sometimes weird because um, to make to make it work in this kind of configuration, you have to jump very to make a very long jump. In this case, it's okay, but if we would, if we jump, uh, if we make a shorter jump, um, the hero ends up in the wall here. So it's it's weird be because at this point, when you jump, you jump, to you make a too long jump, but you don't have a choice because of this point here. Okay. So maybe what you should do is use some graphics to block this place, block jumps from here. Um, I don't know, maybe like that. But oh, you can also hide um, entities that you don't want to see. Okay. Should be okay here. Let's try 40. Eight. Okay, um, I think that's it for this video. If you have questions, please ask. And don't forget to like the video if you liked the tutorial. <laughs> Um, thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.